All right, let's go see this dude. Time for tears. Ah, we meet again after all. I apologize for any offense given by my bearing, but I'm quite unable to move, you see. So, what do you need? Uh, about the corpse under Stormville. Which one should I say first? Ah, you defeated Godric and claimed yourself a great rune. Hmm. Looks like we both got what we wanted out of Stormvale, didn't we? Well done, friend. Something to mark the occasion. Go on, take it. Ooh, a present? Ah. Woo! Plus eight. As you might have guessed, I still can't move. My fighting days are behind me. No need to be polite. I've no use for it anymore. Um, about ah, D. So you've met D. D is an old friend. We found ourselves journeying together for a time, bound by our exploration of death. But our paths have since diverged, never again to cross. Though that's hardly an uncommon fate for two friends. Who is that? D was telling me that he discovered the mark of the centipede. The centipede is an ancient symbol of the curse mark. As long as whoever finds and uses it is not nefarious by nature, then we may be able to form an alliance. If only I could speak to them in person, and if they were like you, all the better. The misshapen the corpse, corpse on the stone veil. That is a sacred relic of the Black Knives Club, as that famed night of assassination is known. It happened during the Golden Age of the Erd Tree, long before the shattering of the Elden Ring. Someone stole a fragment of the Rune of Death from Maleketh, the Black Blade, and on a bitter night, murdered Godwin the Golden. That was the first recorded death of a demigod in all history, and it became the catalyst. Soon, the Elden Ring was smashed, and thus sprang forth the war known as the Shattering. I once wished to become a scholar, you see. I've spent many an hour scouring the archives for knowledge of that fateful plot. The world has grown crooked, and if you intend to put it to rights, you'd better understand what happened to make it this way. Hmm? And that thing is to blame for the shape I'm in now. I urge the utmost caution. Don't disturb the corpse more than necessary. Shit, I wasn't listening because an error came up on my laptop. Oh, Jesus. Do you know? Do you know? My dear, have you ever heard of Black Knife Prints? Dear Roger likes to talk of them when abed. And the ancient plot in which the first of the demigods Ooh, was Oh, they're linked. The Black Knives wielded by the assassins who committed the act, along with the impressions they made, somehow hide the truth of the conspiracy. These grand affairs are hardly my forte, but dear Roger began to weep as he spoke. In truth, I've heard tell from someone else about the black knife prints that fascinate dear Roger so. Knife print clue. But it wouldn't be right to give this to him, stuck as he is in the round table hole. Perhaps you could make use of it? You found a simple map. Okay, we get in somewhere. It's completely hidden. It's right here. You see that? Unbelievable, dude. Yeah, Fierce Quest. Look! How am I meant to know that's there? Ridiculous, dude.
All right. Well, we've just come back after a week of not playing this game, or however long. Let's see how a boss fight goes. Oh, Jesus, close quarters. No, I got no stamina. Yo, what the hell? Let me heal, let me heal. Alright, we're doing okay. No! No! Please, please, please! Just let me heal! Alright. It was never in doubt. First try. Okay, dude. Always good to see you safe. So, what do you need? Look, see, so you needed to kill that secret boss to then progress his storyline. This is a black knife print. I can scarcely believe you managed to get your hands on this. You recall our conversation about the Knight of the Black Knives, yes? They say the assassins who carried out the deed were scions of the Eternal City. A group entirely of women, arrayed in armor of silver under cloaks Whoa. which fooled the eye. The knives they wielded, though, were imparted with the power of the Rune of Death through sinister right. Please, I beg of you, lend me the knife print for a time. I'd love nothing more than to tease out its secrets. Though only a fragment, a very specific ritual had to be performed to impart the power of the Rune of Death. Traces of the one who performed the rite are sure to remain in the imprint. Half my body has been suffused with death. I'm certain it will help me see. Hey, he's got flies buzzing all over him like it's Metal Gear Solid. Come on now. Um, I think there must be more than one in the world though. No, because um, you go to Fear and she gives you the map which shows you that one only location which is the Black Knife, Black Knife Catacombs. So I looked it up online because I was like, well I've done this already but I can't progress anything when I spoke to her. And then it, it showed me, you go through the hidden wall and you kill that guy. Are you certain you've progressed Roger's storyline and had this conversation with him and stuff? If you are, then maybe there is more than one way, but I've looked online and it, sh it shows that this is oh, like the only way. Still. Alright, let's go see if the girl Fear has anything to add now. Dude, my left analog stick's messed up now. It's all the wear and tear. Like, if I hold it a certain way, right, it, it'll stop running. Let me show you. Alright, so it's running now, yeah? It's just fine, right? Let me see. Okay, I just look like a bot right now. It's a, I'm, there's a certain up diagonal area where it doesn't work, okay? <laughs> I am pleased to see you again. Would you like me to hold you once more? <laughs> now, Ooh. come closer. I lost. You are so very warm. Come on, talk to me. There we go. About I Roger. I heard that you lent a hand to dear Roger. He seemed positively elated. He must be possessed of great mental fortitude. It anchors his will and sustains him, despite his grievous wounds. You truly are a champion <laughs> to dear Roger. An apex and champion. Okay. Too. I'm her then champion, she you, said. Okay, my dear. dude. Mate, a sacrificial twig. Come on now. That's what you give your champion? Okay, dude.
All right, we're testing out some new. Oh, this thing is kind of sick. All right, let's test out these soldiers. No, stop hitting me, man. How much damage do they do? Okay, well, they have no health. Go on, shoot again, you bot. Okay, these are rubbish. Alright, I was testing something, okay? Oh my god, I'm getting wrecked. Oh my god, I'm, I'm gonna die. Never mind. Never in doubt. Cerulean Amber Medallion. Summon Andy back at it again. Okay, dude, it was a rubbish summon either way. Unbelievable. You just tune in to watch, so then you can say that when there's a summon, huh? Unreal. <laughs> okay, dude. Well, this seems special. Wait. Uh, let's do the grace first. We'll come back to you, kid. Nothing personal, kid. Foul tarnished. Who is Not she? Lord, I told the all hearing brute that I possess no such medallion, or have you come to take more from me? Was my other half not enough? Hey, I ain't no thief, buddy. Aw, oh, her poor wolf. What, is this Arya Stark? I told the all-hearing brute already that I possess no such medallion, or have you come to take more from me? Was my other half not enough? I know this place caused me problems. Like, look at this place. Come on, Oleg. Oleg, do it. Go on, Oleg. Oleg, you're dying, man. You're shit. Why are you just standing still like a Muppet? Okay, dude. Yes, Oleg, get him. Go oh, on, Oleg. Summon Andy back at it again. Anyone else? This guy's a tank, bro. Please tell me this is the teleporter. That would be so good if it is. Have over here. Hello, please. Over here. Um, who is she? Hello, it's right. What's your chilly look, her here, posture? It? Is like yours, My man. What the hell? Me off on an errand, but I was accosted by a ruffian, and now I'm in a bind. Could I ask you lend a hand? Perhaps that thug made off with a precious necklace. I need someone to retrieve it. Only he too. Who the fuck is, is this? 
If you've any qualms confronting your own. This game's too I big, I'm telling you, man. Another. Hear the request. Refuse? Come on. You know you know we're simps on this channel. We don't refuse. Oh thank you, dear. Okay. What a blessing that we've met like this. The thought Even if be it's a hunchback. Okay, dude. Home. Okay. Whoa. Please. I must have the necklace back. The thug should be resting at an abandoned home. Down, down the, the way. way. Please. Abandoned home down the way. Ha so it, is it that way, I guess? Is that patches? Oh well, it, it's been it a is. while. It's me, Patches the Untethered. I'm still in business, if you can believe it. Now I'm my only supplier, so I haven't got much. But everything here is top notch. Should kill the cop. Patches Emporium. Kind of no, looks like you. Okay, dude. <sighs> Speaking of. Speaking of what? I wasn't listening. By the way, uh, have you met that girl, Raya? She's a strange one, but I believe she was in need of help. Not that it's any of my business, but if she rings your bell, why not lend her an ear? Was Raya the girl just there? You're making your way to the Erd Tree, no? Well, I heard something that might help. Hey, dude. I swear I could see my scalp the other day, Connor. Hey, scalp check, man. Tell me. The clunky contraptions are whirlwinds of sickles and okay. spiked wheels. Hey, don't tell me I'm going bored, man. They were endowed with a spell of transposition. <laughs> okay. And this, a surviving virgin sits at the bottom of the big water wheel. Oh, Jesus. What do you mean? <laughs> its transpositional powers fully intact. So, right. Not if looking good, buddy. Okay, purpose, dude. <laughs> it'll suck you out straight at the base of the Erd tree. Or so I'm told. Crap, I wasn't listening because of that. <laughs> Can you even trust anything this guy says? Oh, yeah. Great story. If there's a surviving Iron Virgin at the bottom of the big water wheel in the Academy... Oh, I already beat that. I heard if you let yourself get caught in it... Base of the Erd tree. <laughs> I mean, mate, I've already done all this stuff. You know what I mean? What's a grace mimic? Light shows the path, but without order. That sounds pretty good, actually. Margit Shackle. Briefly binds Margit. I mean, I beat Margit first try without this, so, you know, it's, <laughs> it's too easy for me, you know? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh, actually... Stingy little beggar. What'd you call Try me? To find it in your heart next time, eh? Yo, I swear, this guy, he's asking for it, man. I mean, you are stingy and a jobber. Okay, dude. Where was the, where was the need for that? Where did jobber even come from? You just, you decided to just add an extra insult for no reason. Okay, dude. Wait, what? Wait, what? Where? Oh, crap. Why am I so slow? Oh, you little bitch! Mate, I don't have a summon! Okay, you're moving a bit too quick for my liking, dude. Oh, I can't see! He's too big! Okay, dude. 
This is annoying. I can't even see him. How did that hit me? Oh my god, I'm dead. I've been through all my pots trying to learn his attacks. Bro, I can't see. What is this camera angle, dude? Okay, get that freaking egghead away from me. No, dude. I can't tell what attack is gonna do, bro. Okay, okay. Okay. First try, easy. What do you want? You just saw me kill your freaking superior and you're coming to me. Unbelievable. Okay, I could not land a hit for... <laughs> for like five minutes and then... And then... All of a sudden, it was cool. Jeez. Alright, that fight was annoying, though. There's a grace here and everything as well. It's what we love to see. Boil prawn shack. That sounds so good. Is that the guy? That's 100% the guy. Hey kid, you picked a bad time to get lost, my what friend. What are you looking at? You trying to start something, mate? Whoa! Give me the necklace. Oh, it is him. Ah, that necklace, what you're after, is it? Mm. Well, show me what it's worth to you, and I'll consider parting ways with it. I'm not in love with it or nothing. Wait. Wait. Do I kill him? I want to kill him because he's a piece of shit. But what if he sells you stuff or does like an additional quest? Do you know, Connor? I think you're bloody clever now about you for a crack. You. All right, you're dead, buddy. You are absolutely dead. It's for you up to this. I'll rip you to shreds. No, it's healing. Oh, never mind. Why ain't it me? Why ain't it ever? Hey, you asked for it. Black God's bell bearing. Iron ball. Mate, that, that mask is something you're into, right, Connor? Okay. Rise necklace. Him. Okay. Hey, can I get the prawn now though? Come on. Come on, I'm starving. No, it's burning, dude. Give me the prawn. How you doing, hunchback? The thug should be resting at an abandoned home down the way. Man, Please. Just... I must that have hurts looking back. at it. Oh, yes. That is my missing necklace. Thank you kindly. I am in your debt. Did I forget to announce myself? I am Raya, in the service of Lady Tanith of the Volcano Manor. That does not I sound good. I seek stalwart tarnished, who might join our house. You are very brave yourself. Not only a steady hand, but a steady heart. Merciless, even to your own kind. Such strength is precisely what my mistress seeks. Mistress? Please, 
Mistress? Take this. Oh, you fucked up, I think. Why? How did I fuck up? Volcano Manor invitation. Brave tarnished. Seek the Altus Plateau, the realm of the Erd Tree. Most tarnished Don't say that. <laughs> are doomed to wander the outskirts of the lands between, peering wistfully at the towering Erd Tree. But you are no ordinary tarnished. And we'll once see. That is proven, what makes you think I fucked up? Volcano Manor will fully extend its invitation to fight. Amongst a family of champions. Oh, and one more thing. Give me a golden seed. Come on. Only for you. Come on. This land of Liernia is connected to the Altus Plateau by the Grand Lift of Dectus, beyond the high road. But the lift has been defunct for an age, meaning there's no simple means of passage. Instead, you must seek the old ruins in the cliff. At the base of the valley, near the Grand Lift, there's an old tunnel. It was excavated from both ends, linking Liernia to the Altus Plateau. I have faith in you. A champion through Jeez, and through. Jeez, everyone calling me I champion, man. It's making me want to play again. Apex. <laughs> okay. Ah, there oh, it's that guy. You claimed a great room and had your audience with the two fingers at the round table home. That's right. What was your impression? Oh, shit. Is this important dialogue? I'm assuming he likes them, so I meant to say they were magnificent. Yes, no, maybe. Do I say magnificent? Are you telling me to just do it? Fine. Don't say. Well, okay. what a relief that must be. You may go then. My work here is done. May the wisdom of the two fingers guide you. Wait, he's leaving. Did I... Did I pick wrong? No, oh. dude. So am I meant to say two fingers seemed off, right? It's meant to be off if it's giving me another choice, right? Aha. Your intuition serves you well. Thank God for the second chance. My doubts oh, have been piling up, you see. The words of the two fingers cannot be trusted. Oh. Truly. Naught but rambling, senile delusions. I believe. I thought he's like into shattered, them. Okay. The two fingers were corrupted. <laughs> Their guidance skewed. Even worse, the fingers harbor no love for our kind. That's the part that irks the most. I was trying to play to his, you know. I thought he's like, he worships them or some shit, dude. Come on. Oh, I have a gift for you. Something fit only Thank for God the they wise. give you another try. Oh, Jesus. Festering bloody finger. A means for circumventing the draw. Sure, the buddy. Two okay, fingers. dude. Give it a try, won't you? And if it please you, may we meet again. I have high hopes for you, my lambkin. Lambkin? Use Festering Bloody Finger to attempt to invade the world of another player. I mean, only Feral Pro is going to be sad enough to want to do such a thing, right? Okay. Oh, there you are. Hey, you're about to witness, Connor, the power of Oleg. Look at him! Look at this beast! Oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, I fucked up. Yeah, I really fucked up. Oh, 
no. I can't see, bro. Alright, this is too easy. Oh, crap. Alright, let's see how you do on your own, Oleg. Come on, Oleg. Oleg, no! No, Oleg! Oh, crap. Oh, shit. And you're dead with that. Oleg, you're getting dropped, mate. What was that? She was basically 1 HP and you couldn't beat her. Unbelievable, dude. Kit hitting a critical. I must be in the wrong stream or something. Okay, dude. How did that guy die right at the door? I'm so confused. So it goes. Alright, Inkle, well, let's see how you do now. Oh shit, I'm getting wrecked. Wait, his health isn't going. Am I meant to kill a slug first or something? You cheeky bugger! I seem kind of strong but then again that boss was pretty weak wait 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 why did my horse go you think you're clever huh buddy Unbelievable, that's what you get. Edgar the Revenger has died. More like Ed Edgar the Shit. Okay. Oh, Shaviri, great. Wait, where's, where's my girl, um, Hayeta? See if I remember the name as well. That was the guy. Whose daughter died. No, it wasn't, dude. Why did they attack me then? What are you on about? That's not the same guy. Why did he... Why would he attack me? I didn't do anything. He wanted revenge. But I didn't kill her. What do you mean? Against everyone. Are you serious? What sort of writing is that, man? He, he, I had a conversation with him. He was fine. If anything, it led you to believe the storyline is you're going to go find the people who did it and then, like, you kind of team up with him or something. What? Praise the revenge. This is... if that's... okay.
This is dumb. Strong foe. God was weak as hell. I, I, I don't like that at all, to be honest. I think that's I think that was pretty shit. Revenger Shack. Nah, I'm not a fan. Ooh, Lulu Lovely is alive. I know who we're raiding next. <laughs> okay. You don't need a stone sword key for this one. Should I be concerned? Oh no, I can't summon. <laughs> oh no. Alright. What the? One of these lot? Wait, can he shoot you from there? Oh shit, he can. Oh, the critical! Look at that, we don't miss! Not on this stream. I'm gonna do a no-hit playthrough, mate. No! I choked it! Oh shit, we took no damage. Okay. Oh, I'm scared, man. I was meant to go eat. Oh, Jesus. Oh, no. I was meant to go eat, dude. Oh, no. <laughs> Don't do this to me, man. Oh. I don't even know if you're trolling. What the fuck? Wait, what? Where am I? This can't be... This can't be right. Yo! I can't even see Kaelid! Look! That's got to be like a really high level area. What have you done for, for, to me, man? Can I can I fast travel back? But then I've wasted it if I fast travel back. Okay, I can. I've only got 368 runes, so that's that's decent. Do these things attack me? What the hell? Oh my god, what is this? I haven't even done this area yet. Oh, Jesus. This looks like end game level. Like, look at this shit. I don't even think I can go down, actually. I'm assuming I need to uh, open up all the... I need to use all the other sword keys. Right? Maybe? Oh, you can drop down here, actually. How did these people die? Did they just get attacked by all of these? No, he just jumped off. Oh, Jesus! Am I meant to do this now? Fuck it, dude. <laughs> I mean, I've only got 300 runes. If I lose them, I lose them, innit? It's all good. Oh, shit! Okay. Try range battle? With what? Bro, what the fuck? Oh, shit. Fuck it, dude. Yeah. Oh, shit. Um. Okay. 
I haven't, that's the first time I've died today. I just realized. This whole time, streaming for two and a half hours, that's the first time I died. To fair, the exact same thing happened to me. Well, I got two shot by them, didn't land a single hit. I don't think we are ready for this area. Uh, I think, I think, I think a tad bit underleveled, you know? Hey, he kind of looks like you, Connor. Oh, shit. What is this? Okay, dude. Wait, what? Yo, he just drank a potion as well, you little cheater. You're not allowed to do that. Yo, he freaking... He dodged me. Alright, that was easy. I said there's a bit underneath you can go to. Yeah, and I did. And then I went into that cave. Flame of the Fell God. I said there's a bit underneath you can go to. I went underneath and then um, went into that cave. I thought, I didn't know. So you're saying you keep walking across the lake and there's loads of underneath cave bits basically. Oh god, I have no idea where I am now. Okay, this is the place. <laughs> what the fuck? Please, no. Dear me, <laughs> I haven't a clue. No secrets lie with me, not a one. Oh, please leave me be. Wait then, you're not one of them. Well, <sighs> what a relief. <laughs> oh, goodness me. I am Albus. And this Albinoic. is Albus. As you can see, we're finished. The whole village is finished. The curse mongers have destroyed everything. No one that remains has their wits about them. I mean, I killed all your brothers, dude. Would you look after this medallion? You must keep it out of the curse mongers' hands. Alec Tree Street Secret Medallion. This is for that girl, whatever her name was, Raya. And if you should meet the young Albinoric Latena, then please give it to her. A chosen land awaits her. The medallion is the only a quaint treasure, for but for dear Latena. My leg, alas. <laughs> Anything else, buddy? Oh, shit. Alright, I guess we go back to the girl. Finally, this fucking place. Ivory Sickle. No! Oh, I pressed the wrong button, man! Oh! Oh, wait, if this is the boss, then. It's too easy anyway. 
Yo, yo, yo. Crucible not talisman. Are you doing go? I told the all hearing brute already that I possess no such medallion. Or have you come to take more from me? Was my other half not enough? Why would you not show it? Do you speak true? Why am I glowing? So old Albus entrusted his medallion to you. Then I have no choice but to trust that this was his dying will. Let's try again. I'm Latena. An Albanoric, the same as old Albus. My apologies for my coarse words earlier. I presume the worst. Seeing that you're another tarnished like that all-hearing brute. I hope that you will forgive me. I mean, that's it? Hmm. Come on, dude. And the medallion's better off in your hands anyway. Would you consider doing me a great service? <sighs> what do you want back. now, huh? There is something I must do. Even if I must say farewell to my wolf, Lobo. Will you show me the way? To the land of Mikola's Halib tree. If you accept, I would gladly apprise you of the whereabouts of the medallion's other half. Of course. Thank you kindly. They say the other half of the medallion is beyond the forbidden lands north of the earth tree, in Castle Sol, on the mountain tops of the giants, accessible by the grand lift of Rold. You see, you shouldn't have to keep repeatedly going back to talk to them to progress a story, right? It should be one and done, like in Witcher, like in any other sensible game. Other people who maybe get bored or who just can't be asked to think it's over, they'll walk away and then what? Stupid. Then I suppose it's time. Farewell, Lobo. Dumb game. My faithful wolf. My better half. I will go with the tarnished. So that our journey will not have been in vain. No. Forgive me, Lobo. Not Lobo. Oh, it was a summon. And I will fight at your side. <laughs> okay, this was all worth it. She's a bow and arrow as well. It's like Feindo in Skyrim. Hopefully she has dialogue or some shit when you make a fight. Lobo, no. Alright, we are going to change that instantly. I think this is the best summon in the game. Ooh! It's so cheap as well. Alright, well we'll try her out and then we'll try Lutel out. Lobo, you were so young! So young!